Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So if you are excited to see some nail art on my channel again, please give this video a thumbs up and I'm going to show you how to do a marbled look using a nail stamper. So first I'm going to apply some liquid latex around my nails. That way the cleanup is so much easier. If you don't own this, I would highly recommend it. So I'm going to use a peel off base coat. And these are the polishes, SE Marshmallow, OPI Put It In Neutral, China Glaze That Shore Bright, China Glaze UV Meant To Be, and OPI Infinite Shine Set in Stone. So first what you want to do is you want to apply your polish on um, something like a silicone or a baggie and I'm just randomly placing the polishes and I should have done less of the color so it was more um, of like the sheer. So I'm gonna use a clear stamper and when you first apply it right away, it's gonna like smear and blend. The longer you wait, the more it's gonna dry and the more opaque it's gonna lay on your nail. So here you just wanna apply it randomly. Um, depending on your look, you can apply what's left on the stamper here and there. So as you can see, I did apply some of the white that's still on there to give it more of like a milky look. So next I'm gonna use a um, glitter, which this is a hollow from Super Chic, and it is called Awesome Sauce. I'm gonna use a small nail art brush. Now my other nails turned out better um, I didn't film those, but this one I didn't really care for. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag some of the polishes or the polish on my nail um, in squiggly motions. And then I did apply some of Essie Marshmallow to kind of fade it or blend it, which that kind of didn't really do much, but it did. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that at random. I probably should have put a coat of SE Marshmallow on top so it looked more milky and uh, less opaque. But this look is just, um, you know, just applying it at random. So however you apply it, I'm sure it's going to look awesome if you try this. And then when you are finished, you just want to clean up. I use a Dollar Elf eyeshadow brush in some acetone, and I'm just gonna apply one layer of Sesvite. So here is the finished design. I do love how it turned out. Um, if I try this again, I'm going to try uh, less color and more milky and probably get a better placement of the glitter if I decide to use that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.